Okay. No, she was keeping them, but she was dependent on me. Mm-hmm. She, she was dependent on me to pay his chemotherapy. That hurt me the most that I couldn't be there with him, like a doctor's appointments. Yeah, no, I get it. But I had to live out there. Like I was in my Chrysler. But you were doing what was most important, which was trying to supply. Yeah. So people always want, they call me broke. They they call me all kind of names. That, may, that diminishes an artist's look because you expect them to get big chains, jewelry, money, flashing. The normal things artists do, I didn't do. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I'm from Kansas, Topeka. We don't got everything. We don't got nothing. We just got a radio station two days ago. Wow. You know what I'm saying? We don't got nothing. Uh, so, so where was your child's mom during this time? She she was keeping them. Mm-hmm. She lives in Kansas City. You together? No. Okay. No, she was keeping them, but she was dependent on me. Mm-hmm. She had, depended on me to pay his chemotherapy. That hurt me the most that I couldn't be there with him, like a doctor's appointments. Yeah, no, I get it. But I had to live out there. Like I was in my Chrysler. But you were doing what was most important, which was trying to supply. Yeah. So people always want, they call me broke. They they call me all kind of names. That, may, that diminishes an artist's look because you expect them to get big chains, jewelry, money, flashing. The normal things artists do, I didn't do. But I love that. I love that because me coming from Jamaica, when I hear you talk about even kids growing up and, you know, people wanting to have this and wanting to have that, I didn't care. I was a tomboy, so I was too busy running around on the street playing soccer and, Mm -hmm. you know, beating up all the boys and doing all of that sort of stuff. Yeah. So I had one pair of shoes, but I didn't look at it as something bad. I'm like, we grew up. You get a pair of shoes until this one is worn out, you get another one yeah. to go back to school. But that wasn't the norm for me, unless you're just super, super rich. But you can't miss something you didn't have as long as you had something on your feet and not walking around barefooted. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Cause you have some- kid, you see them, you see them Jordans. I didn't care about all of that. I did. I was. I wanted them 13s and 11s. <laughs> I grew up watching Mike and Kobe. You know, I wanted those shoes, but I couldn't get them. My grandma couldn't afford those shoes. Right. She couldn't afford that. Uh, not when my mama come and asking for helping her with her rent or my aunties coming to ask off of one paycheck. Mm-hmm. You know, I couldn't do that. So, I, I mean, I was happy. I, I lived my life. I played outside every day. Did but it I made did. you who you How are today. You? Huh? How, how old, old were you? Growing, I was like when you, when, you, when, when you first got into How old was you when you had your first kid? When I had my first kid, I was 21. Okay, so. So you yeah. weren't that young. No, no. He, but see, that, that's what I'm saying because. When I was 21, man, it was bad, man. Drugs had just came out like I liked it, and mm-hmm. I was going to sell some dope and all <laughs> yeah. that, nigga. I, your kid would have been good. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I was going to go get me some dope. Well, I was yeah. selling pills. No, like, I was, no, like, mm-hmm. we got, like, cocaine. I was doing all kind of Keys crazy shit. Keys of coke, and, and that was the bad, well, man. I, I promise, when I had my child, I, was, I stopped. I wanted to beat her. I don't want to get in trouble. See, I wasn't like that. Me, I was tripping. Like, my I was going to try to make everybody in the hood good. I went to jail one time, and I was like, fuck. No, man. no. I went, and then I, I lied and said I was my brother. I was trying to figure out how to scam <laughs> that out. I'm just telling you. Yeah. Like, I'm just a real, like, I was trying to take care of everybody yeah, in the family. Yeah, the social family. and everything. I was trying to figure it out, man, because these niggas were broke. We were broke. I feel mm-hmm. you. So, I you mean, it was bad. Do. So, I'm like, I got to help these niggas. They ain't ready for this. We want to we wanna come up. Yeah. Wasn't no really rap was in the West Coast and in the East Coast. It wasn't in the South. Mm-hmm. So, in, during my time, you had to go get it. Yeah. So, for you to be... I, I thank God that, that you made the right decision for your kids. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I didn't. I had to go away for a second just to, you know, recoup this mindset to get back and know. That's because parenting to me means a lot. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.